and mild but successful design tweaks outside and in, this is essentially the same car that made our 2013 10BEST list and would have joined its A6-S6-A7 stablemates on the 2014 list, had its base price not risen above the $80,000 price cap. Compared with the 2013 S7 we ran through a 40, 000, 000 mile long-term test, the 2016 edition tested here has gained 30 horsepower for a total of 450 from the 40 liter twin turbo V8. That's still a lower state of tune than in other applications, 500 horsepower in the Bentley Flying Spur and 560 in the Audi RS7, although it has the same output in the more conventional S6 sedan. We already were fans of Audi's MMI infotainment and telematics system and its integration with the large driver information panel between the Speedo and the Touch. These have both been updated 4G LTE connectivity, Apple Siri Eyes free integration, and web radio streaming are new while the rest of the cabin offers fresh trim options, our test car had carbon fiber. The quilted leather environs were assembled to Audi's usual high standard. Power to spare. With the extra ponies, this 2016 model shaves 0.4 second off the 0, 2, 60, mph time, but only in comparison to our long-termer when it was similarly new. After 40,000 miles, that car could edge the 2016 S39, second run to 60, both employing the built-in launch control. We can't say how this one would fare after similar break-in, but it's basically a dead heat to 100 mph and through the quarter mile in the low 12s. There has been no change in peak torque, but in the 2016 car the power plateaus 300 rpm higher in the rev band. Crossing our scales at 4508 pounds, this test car was 49 pounds heavier than the 2013 example, a negligible 1% change.